Shamak Jermada. Our hero, Shamak Jermada. A squill shigla her kundali trima. Signatory of the Proclamation of Independence and Mastermind of the 1916 Easter Rising. Sean McGermada was born in Curranmore, Kilty Clocher on the 27th of January 1883. Here is the cottage where he was born and raised. It is the only homestead at the seven signatories still standing. Sean lived with his father Donald, who was a carpenter by trade, his mother Mary and his nine siblings. Sean was the eighth child in the family and when he was younger he went by the name of John Joe. It is said that Sean's father Donald met the pews in St. Michael's Church beside our school. Sean's childhood was like that of any other boy in County Nature at the time. He grew up in a large family, lived in a small house, on a very small farm. Food and money were far from plentiful and Sean knew he would have to leave Kilty Clarehead to find work elsewhere. After he finished school, of course. Sean attended his last day of national school in 1903 at the age of 12. He worked in Edinburgh as a gardener for a short time before returning home in 1904 to continue his education. He studied the Irish language and bookkeeping under Patrick McGarren, who kept a night school in Tullinham Oil near Dara County Cabin. This is where Sean's love of Gwilga was ignited. Sean wanted to become a teacher. This was not to be, however, and in 1905, Sean followed in his brother Dan's footsteps by travelling to Belfast in search of work. He got a job as a tram conductor, but got fired for smoking on the platform of the tram. From this moment on, Sean focused all his attention on being a Republican. He dreamed of an island without British rule and became a member of the IRB, the Irish Republican Brotherhood. He was appointed on to the Supreme Council of the IRB shortly after meeting the most important influence of his life, Tom Clark. Tom, like Sean, felt that the only way to achieve an Irish Republic was to rise over a bell against Great Britain. Both men felt that the ideal time to strike against Britain was while she was at war with Germany. This idea was the cornerstone of the 1916 Easter Rising. Sean moved to Dublin and along with Tom Clark formed the Irish Volunteers. But around this time Sean got sick with polio and spent several months in hospital. He walked with a limp for the rest of his days and this meant that he took no part in the actual fighting during Easter week. He was in the GPO of course, but it was in the organisation and communication of the Rising that Sean played the most important role. On the 24th of April, Easter Monday 1916, about 2,000 Irish volunteers and 200 from James Connolly's Irish Citizen Army occupied the GPO, as well as other important buildings in Dublin City. Porrick Pierce proclaimed the Irish Republic and raised the Irish flag for the first time. The British Army were taken by surprise and suffered heavy casualties, as did the rebels. Reinforcements arrived from England. The British Army shelled the GPO and other buildings. 
After weeks fighting, Pierce and the volunteers surrendered. The guns and fires had destroyed much of the city and the GPO was in ruins. At this time, the rebels were seen as troublemakers who had brought the city to wreck and ruin. Their actions were not very popular with the majority of people in Ireland. McDermott and his comrades were jeered and booed as they made their way under the British command to Kilmainham Jail. During a court martial on the 9th of May 1916, Sean was sentenced to death, just like the other leaders of the rebellion. The night before he died, Sean wrote, My dear Daly, just a wee note to bid you goodbye. I expect in a few hours to join Tom and the others in a better world. I have been sentenced to a soldier's death, to be shot tomorrow morning. I have nothing to say about this, only that I look on it as part of the day's work. We die that the Irish nation may live. On the 12th of May, Sean made his final journey to the Stonebreaker's yard of Kilmaine and Jail. A white piece of cloth was pinned to his jacket and he was shot by firing squad. Fifteen executions took place after the rising and 1,841 suspected rebels were sent to prison in England. The rising had failed to get independence for Ireland However, it had made the cause of independence more popular as many Irish people were so outraged by the executions that they also began to call for independence. Sean's words became reality. We thank him for giving his life to Ireland. We remember his sacrifice a hundred years old. Sean McDermott is our hero. Today we celebrate a republic. We celebrate Sean McDermott, who could only dream of this republic. We will be eternally grateful for your courage.